What's up everybody? It's TR with Earth Angel Mushrooms. I want to show you something. Hopefully you can see that. Oh yeah. So my last video, I uh, did a video on that right there. I'm on my third cook. And I want to go over some mistakes that I made and some things uh, you can do better on making a substrate sterilizer. Before I cover that though, if you haven't been to my website, earthangelmushrooms.com, please go, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you need spawn blocks, earthangelmushrooms.com. So, I don't have some lights in here yet, but uh, we'll see if we can, uh, if you can still see me. Yeah, it looks all right looking good aren't I anyway so uh, first I went ahead and insulated the container there's actually blocks cooking in there right now or I guess I showed you the steam so yeah um, went ahead and insulated it this is poly iso foam board so it's rated at a higher temperature uh, you can get it at a lot of the uh, big box stores I got it at Menards um, how I got it up there. Let's see if I can find any of it. Nope, I'm all out. Got my junk pile right here. Um, so I used EPDM caulk. Don't use EPDM caulk. Um, it is rated at a higher temperature, um, so it can withstand 212 degrees or whatever, but it gets soft, um, like putty-like. So the first time I cooked in this, these wanted to sag off of here. Um, they're holding up now, but uh, when you do make a sterilizer, you don't want to use EPDM caulk. You'll want to use some other type of caulk. I also got some neoprene. It's roof cement, but it's neoprene. Um, I want to see if that'll work. It's rated at a higher temperature. So I don't know if it works yet, because I haven't used it. I do know that EPDM, it would be great as a gasket material, but not as a glue. Um, so I made a gasket around the door, and it is doing really, really well, minus where the gaskets on the uh, door meet. So if you can see the steam coming out of there, I can handle a little bit of steam. I'm not worried about it. So I'm still dialing in exactly how much time to uh, leave them in here. I want greater than 200 for two hours, at least two hours. So uh, last cook that I did in it, this is number three. Uh, the last cook I did 560 bags and it took, uh, let's see six hours to get the internal temperature to 200 and then I held it there for two hours um, so far so good um, so I have yet to get my automated controller oven going I wanted to get it fired up so I have a block probe and a steam temperature of the inside probe they're both at the bottom why because heat rises hot air hot steam steam is lighter than air hot air is lighter than cold air so I put my probes on the bottom so the one probe is just out the very bottom um, telling me the temperature it is inside of here and then I have a probe in a middle uh, of a middle block um, takes a while to get up the temp as far as the block now the inside of here, I'm using my 25 horse boiler. Um, it, 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 I mean, I can't even open the steam all the way, that two inch pipe, or it'll pressurize my container or attempt to pressurize it. The first time I did, I thought, well, I'm just gonna get it up to temp real fast. And I opened that valve up and I literally saw the container walls expand. At that point, I knew it was too much and got a little scared. So um, 
I barely have that valve cracked open and it maintains temperature in there. So I got a couple more hours, but just wanted to make a recap uh, of the first video. So the things I've changed, uh, I put how I did the gasket, forgot to go over this. I did neoprene gasket material around the door. It works great, except it shrinks. So, um, get bigger than you need, knowing that it will shrink a little bit. Um, but it, as you can see, there's only one leak, and that's right down there. I can handle one leak. Um, the insulation, poly ISO, I used foil tape to hold it kind of together. And I did use EPDM caulk. However, that, that's not the best choice. It's working now, but not very well. So I'm gonna have to change that. Anyway, I wanted to make an update. Uh, so the last cook took eight and a half hours total. So how long, what did I say? Six hours to get up to temp and two and change, just, just over two above 200 degrees. Um, what else, what else, what else? I got a fancy wall built back there now. It goes all the way across. I still need a roof. My positive HEPA cool down. So at the end, I'll just open that door right here. You get a better look at that. So I have neoprene gasket on that door and then it swings open. I spray the inside of this with alcohol, 2,000 cubic feet per minute. It just blasts air in there um, and cools them down fast. So last cook, when I came in in the morning, they were 100 degrees. So I was here till 9.30 or 10, something like that. And then I got back to work the next morning by about 7.30 and they were already to 100 degrees. So almost temp to inoculate in just overnight. Of course it is still cool here, but uh, anything below 200 is air conditioning, right? Free, so I'll use it to cool them down to that temp and then bring them into the lab. Now this is going to be closed in. I'm gonna put up PVC drapes here, positive pressurize this room. I'm gonna put a wall over here so then they go in, they go out. Right now I'm risking it, just taking them into the lab real quick uh, after they're cooled down. Um, so there is a risk there. I shouldn't do that uh, all the time for the future, and I'm gonna change that, but right now I wanna get this thing up, fired up and going. I think I covered all of the new little things I have that uh, I've added since the last video. So if you learned anything, like and subscribe. Go to my website if you need spawn, spawn, earthangelmushrooms.com. Uh, hopefully everybody has a good weekend. It is a beautiful day out here in Missouri. Keep growing mushrooms, stay motivated, have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you later.